hindi na naliliitan. Ayan, nandito yung iba. So, videos on tayo. Videos on, mga nandito lalo na. Maka pwede mag-gwen. Yun is Lea. Ayan, nai-scroll down ko yung sa Zoom. Nakikita ko kayo ako. So, if you can turn on your video, turn on your video. Ano, we're done with the fundamental identities. Meron lang ako nakaligdaan no? na isang, isang fundamental identity. Na saglit lang naman. Na nakalimutan ko siya. So, it's called the ad even identities. So basically, you have, hindi lang naman sa Trigo nag apply no? So, you have an even function. At ang daming, ano niya, ang daming niyang uh, implications. Hindi lang sa Trigo. <coughs> so, yun, medyo my voice is coming back. Kaya medyo, I'm feeling good. So, even function is when f of negative x is f of x. Kita yun. Example. Pinaka-basic na example. Yung mga polynomials, the powers are even. Like that. So if you check f of negative x, what is f of negative x? So you substitute negative x. 2x in f of x. So what will happen? <coughs> Oh, guys, guys. What is f of negative x? Papalit mo yung negative x sa x. Diba? So, magiging ano yan. Negative x to the fourth. Nakalimutan na ni Jules. Negative x squared. So, you will end up having the same as the original given f of x. So that's when a function is an even function. Okay? Now, by definition of obviously the other one, add function. So when f of negative x is negative of the original. And a classic example, obviously, yung mga add powers. Say x cubed na lang yan. Okay, what is f of negative x? Guys, you can speak. Negative x. Negative x. Wow! So meaning, the f of negative x is the negative of the given. So it's an odd function. In terms of the graphs, and daming, and daming ano yan, implications. But we'll go to that next time. Now, the sine function is an odd function. Look, sine of negative x is equal to the negative of sine x. And the cosine function is an even function. Cosine negative x is cosine x. So, yun lang naman dadagdag ko. Ang daling ma-verify nyo yun, guys. So, you have an angle x in standard position, x. Diba yung cosine nyo ito? Itong length na to? If this is the unit circle, tama ba? Now, what about negative x? How do you measure a negative angle? How do you measure a negative angle? Pabaliktad. Direction, please. Direction. Clockwise. Clockwise. Negative x. Then obviously, 
you will end up having the thread segment if this is other unit circle as your cosine. So cosine of x is equal to cosine of negative x because it's the same positive side of the x-axis. Are we clear on that? May tanong ba dun? What about tangent, guys? Is tangent an other uneven function? So you test. Ano kaya mangyayari kay tan negative x? Pero pwedeng ko add. Hindi siya isayin natin. Because tangent is sine over cosine. Huwag piling juice. Kaya ka, kaya ka na, na nagagapi lagi dahil puro ka piling. That may action. Okay? <laughs> so ano yung sine of negative x? Negative sine x. Cosine of negative x, cosine x. Kaya magiging negative tan x. Right? So tama si Jules. Tama yung piling niya. Ad. Pwede mo ba yan, Kaliza? The feeling is correct. So, yun, no, guys. So, the added even identities for sine, cosine, and tangent. So, we will use this later. So, tan of negative x is negative tan x. So, obviously, only the cosine function is the even function out of the three. Uh, now, guys. So, tapos tayo ng fundamental identities. We now go to what they call general identities. Part 1. Yung part 2 kasi nito, hindi masyadong tinuturo. So part 1 muna tayo. Part 1. So summarize natin. Andito na yung mga sum and difference. Double. Half. And we can even extend this to dob double, triple, double angles, triple angles, tapos half angle, and then yan, yan lang, yan lang muna yung part 1. Yung part 2, yun yung sums to products and products to sums. So I'll be having that, syempre, next time. Kung una buti natin, di ba, you know, I'll, I'm always picking up where we left off, always. Kasi I have, I have the, your, your notes always. Kung hanggang saan yung tin, inabot natin. So ulit lang ulit, no? Eunice, you can turn your, your video on. Clarky, go ba yan? Clarky lang malakas. Sir. Ayan, Clarky. Video on. Para no, nakikita. Ako, sir. Gwen. Yod, Shireen. Okay. Now, guys. Uh, gusto kong i-derive yung ito. Ito yung gusto kong i-derive. Kasi magagamit dyan yung fundamental identities. And konting trigo lang. Konting geometry. No? Yan. Cos A minus B is cos cos plus C. I know, I know na kabisado nyo to. Because of the mnemonic. Cos, cos, sin, sin, kapag cos. Kung plus nga yan, babalik na yung sine. Tama ba? So this is the sum identity for cosine. And then yung sine naman, yung plus, yung minus. Ito naman yung, alam ko yung mnemonic nyo dito. Sin, cos, cos, sin, di ba? Nakalimuta ko tuloy yung angle. Sin, cos, cos, sin. Ayan. And then, walang magbabago sa sine. Tapos tangent. Yan. So these are formulas guys. No? And ang pangit sa formulas. Makakalimutan mo ito eh. Like, kung plus to plus minus. Then, I forgot. O oh, yan, yeah, nakalimutan ko na. I forgot. Mamaya, balikan natin. Because what's important is, hindi naman yung pagkabisado ng mga yan. How this came about. At gagawin ko yung cosine. Okay. Now, in inaayos ko na nag-drawing now. Kanina ba nag-aantay ng mga darating? Now look. This is the unit circle, guys. I have the unit circle. Uh, I have the angle. 
measured. Ito, 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 na-trace na ito, itong, itong, ito. In standard position, let this be B. So, ito yun. B. Follow. Standard position. We follow that. Then, I have this in standard position. A. So, that's angle A. Yung, yan, yung more than 180 na yan. Angle A. Dito ko na lang lagay. Angle A. Now, uh, obviously, this is a point on the unit circle. And if it's a point on the unit circle, automatic, uh, I emphasize that, all the points on the unit circle are already cosine and sine. So if this is angle B, then this point is cosine B. Cosine B what? What's the Y coordinate? Jules, what's the y-coordinate? Mic on yung mga alam. Sign up, sir. Sign B? Sign B. That's correct. Cos B, sign B. So, cos and sign lagi sila, di ba? This is angle A. So, tell me the coordinates of this point. Ayan, yung point na yun. Cosine B. Sine A. The angle is A, so A pa rin. This angle A, this angle B. Okay? Now, guys, what do you think is the measure? So since, okay na, na-trace ko na, no? Na-labelan ko na rin. May question ba so far? So I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll take this low. Teka lang, akain na ako. It's the use. Okay. Jules, tuloy mo. Oh, now guys, uh, de-delete ko to na para ma hindi ma magulo. Yung label ko na. Na-label na naman natin na B on A on. So, okay na to. Now, let me ask you. What is the measure of this angle? Yan yung angle na to. So, Nina, trace A, trace B. So, what do you think is the measure of this angle? Anyone, anyone? Dian, you can, si Dian, you can see here, you can, ano, chat. You can, Kasi walang mic si Dian. Dian yung rin siya. To everyone. Sir, 90. A minus B. Eunice, pwede mag-chat. Okay. May option kayo to chat to everyone or to me. Pabalik ako, ano? Patrace ko ulit. Ito, may message ako nakita. A minus B. Sabi ni Rain at sabi ni Isaiah, A minus B. Right? Tama ba? Kasi A nga ito, yung mga abang yan. Trace ko lang in yellow. A. Tapos ito, B hanggang dun lang. So therefore, yung sobra, A minus B. Right? So we have a triangle na measure ng angle na to A minus B. Now obviously, konting trigo, konting geometry, kaya nating kopyahin yung triangle na yan. Make another triangle congruent to this triangle na lalagay ko yung isang side mismo dito. Right? Mismo dyan. So parang ganito. Yan. Then I'll connect. There. And now what's the measure of this? Gagawin ko siyang A minus B. Parang kopya. Parehas daw. Parehas daw. So I have two congruent triangles. Do you agree? Itong triangle na to, congruent doon. Why? Because radius 
radius, radius, radius. The angles are the same, side angle, side. Do you follow? The two triangles are the same, congruent. Uh, now, before I proceed, uh, so you have established the congruency ng dalawa. Side, angle, side. Radius, same angle, radius. Radius, same angle, radius. What can you say about this one? This length and this length. Guys. Congruent. According to what? Postulate. Naalala ba yun? CP, CPC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Naalala. So meaning this is the same as this. Now, I can get the measure of this because I can get the distance between the two points. Now, what I don't have are the coordinates of this. Now, convenience nga na ginawa kong ganyan. Because I know the, the exact coordinates of this point. Tell me the exact coordinates of this point, guys. Can anyone recite or at least chat response? Don't be shy. One zero. What is the coordinates of this point? Yes, Juice. Talaga, chat talaga gusto. Ganun din nakikita naman ng iba. One zero. You can, you can, you can ano, turn your mic on and say it. Now, tell me the coordinates of this point. Remember that this is the unit circle. Mic on. Sir, one, 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 one. No, one, one would be outside the unit circle, you know, bawal yun. And as rain, kung nababasa yung chat, yung iba hindi na yata tinitingnan yung chat. Again, guys, please, you can recite. Pwede magsalita. Ah, private lang pala. Yung mga nagchat sa akin, private lang pala. Okay. Guys, kaya nga, sinimulan ko eh. Ano to? B. So ano to? Cos B sin B. Ano to? A. Ano to? Cos A sin A. Right? Because we are on the unit circle. And every point on the unit circle satisfies cosine and sine agad yung x and y coordinates. So if this is a minus b, what is this? Cosine, quantity a minus b, and ano yung y coordinate niya? Ano yung y coordinate? Sine a minus b. Yan. Yan kasi yung problema, guys. Alam ko, alam nyo na yung mga identities that I have listed already. I know you know this already. Pero the math behind it, very simple lang naman. First concept, lahat ng points na nasa unit circle, siya na agad yung sine, siya na agad yung cosine. X and Y, respectively, cosine and sine. Naalala ba yun? Nag-drill pa nga tayo rin. Right? Parang ganito. Okay, babalikan ko na lang. Unit circle. Unit circle. Pi over 4. Pi over 4. Coordinates of the point. 1 kasi yan. So you have Pythagorean. So mas solve mo to, mas solve mo to. You get square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. Because 45 degrees. I saw Celeste, right? Tama ba? So what is cosine of pi over 4? Square root of 2 over 2. What is sine pi over 4? Square root of 2 over 2. Parang hina. Diyos, parang hindi sigurado. Another. Ayan. Nothing. 
I have seven pi, seven pi over six on the unit circle. So that's 210, 210 all the way. You know that's 30. Opposite the 30 degree angle is one half. Obviously, it was square the three over two because on the unit circle, one ang hypotenuse, Pythagorean. Exact coordinates of the point ay negative square root of three over two and negative one half. Bakit negative parehas? Third quadrant. Tell me what is cosine seven pi over six? What is sine seven pi over six? Nantok na ba kayo? Parang ano, ganun na lang din yung magturo. Negative one half. Isa, rush ka ni Jules. Risha, training. Training mo ako, Risha. Risha. Oo, sir. Sabi ni Jules, ano daw favorite color mo? No. Ayan, okay. Ano nangyayari? Alam magsalita ka si Chris eh. Basta si Jules magsasalita. Hindi namin na rinig yan ha. Pero na lang yan. Kaya nga, babalik tayo guys. Sabi ko, una-una ko introduction. Unit circle yan. Unit circle. At kung unit circle yan, angle A ito. Angle B yung maliit. Cos B sin B. Angle A yun. Cos A sin A. Follow, follow. Concept, all the points on the unit circle are already cosine and sin. Now, ang ginawa ko lang, ginopya ko yung triangle na yan, ginawa ko sa kabila. So, gumawa ko ng congruent. Nilagay ko lang isang side sakto sa x-axis. Yung kabila, syempre a minus b. So, what is cos a minus? So, if this a minus b, what are the coordinates of the point? Cosine and sine. Ulitin ko, because concept, all the points on the unit circle are already cosine and sine, x and y coordinates, respectively. Dali lang naman ang konsepto tandaan, right? Now, I said congruent yung dalawa. Then the two triangles are congruent. If the two triangles are congruent, this side is congruent to this side. Meaning the lengths are equal. So if the lengths are equal, set up natin yung length muna nito. So syempre, you use the distance formula. Distance formula, guys. Cos A minus A. Cos A minus cos B to be squared plus quantity sine A minus sine B to be squared. Yan yung ito. Pagin natin siyang L1. O L1. L1. L2, set up natin. It's L2. What's the distance? What's the length? Distance between the two points. Square, square root of cosine A minus B. Quantity A minus B. B minus 1. Minus 1. Then square. Plus. Quantity sine. A minus A minus B. Sulat. Minus Square. Do you follow? Identities nang gagamitin natin dito guys to simplify everything. Ako yun lang. Try natin. Share screen, Jules. Ikaw na magtuloy. Okay, sulat ko lang. Cos A sa akin. Tulungan nyo na lang ako. Narinig nyo yung construction sa labas? May heavy machinery doon. Eh dapat maingay din kayo. Roar. Okay. Now, ano yung isa? Cosine muna, minus 1, and then square. Quantity, minus 1, square. Then quantity, sine of A minus B. Now, yeah. 
O oh, guys, go. Pag in-square natin both sides, hindi mo mawawala yung square root. Right? Mawawala yung square root, both sides. And, paki-expand. Expand. Ang hirap magsulat dito, guys. Plus cosine B squared. Plus sine squared, squared A minus 2 sine A sine B sine B plus sine B squared. Sine squared B. Sine squared so Now, dito na sulat ko. Square nung una, I'll just write it. Cosine squared. Tama ba? And 2 cosine 1 to the A minus B. Plus one. one. Plus this one. Sine squared A minus B. Right? Now, gamitin natin yung P na mother chip. When ano yung mother chip? Identity. When Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. Mother chip identity recite. Sir, cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. Yeah, cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. one. Regardless of the angle. Basta parehas. Cos squared theta, sine squared theta. So what this? Cancel. And this, what's that? Cos... May nag-chat pa. Sabi ni Joseph. One, one, sir. Pwede mo sabihin na lang. Cos squared, sine squared. How about cos squared V, sine squared V? Cancel. One. Cancel. One. Diyo ka lang, sir. That's one. One. Okay. And then? Cos sine squared A minus B. Sine squared A minus B. Okay. Ano natin ito? Tapos ito. So yung left side, yung simplify ko na. Right? Yan yeah. And yung right side, look at this. Cos squared of that angle, times squared of that angle, eh parehas naman sila. One. 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 Then one plus, plus one. Two. Sulat ko, sulat ko na lang. Di mong dali naman natin, one plus one lang. <laughs> minus 2 cosine A minus B. And if you look at that, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. Lipat natin kasi negative, negative nakikita ko. Lipat ko to doon para positive. Lipat natin yung dalawa para positive. 2 cosine Cosine B minus plus, plus milipad, milipad. 2 sine A sine B. Simplify. And of course, we can divide by 2. But, kalahate. This is the cosine identity. This the cosine difference identity. Ito yun, right, guys. Ang galing. Unit circle. The unit circle. On the unit circle. Distance formula. Sign agad. Now, paano magagamit si Adam even? Bakit kapag minus, kapag minus plus, okay na, yun na yun. Maderive na natin siya, minus plus. Bakit kung plus minus? No? No? Kasi, we can express naman we can express the plus. Yung plus, no? Ito plus. As a minus 2. Kaya, no? Do you agree? Minus negative. Follow it. So, parang ito yung A. Ito yung minus, no? Ito yung minus. And minus. So, susundin ko yung na-derive natin. Cos A. Cosine ng pangalawa. So, happen to be negative B siya. And then, plus. Kasi plus yun. 
sine A and then sine of negative B. Now, but cosine is an even function, hindi siya mababago. Yung cos of negative B is the same as cosine B. Pero yung sine of negative B magiging, ano yung sine of a negative angle? Magiging negative sine X. Kaya ano mangyari kay? Sine of negative B. What will happen to this? Magiging negative sine B. Kaya that plus will become a minus. Sine A, sine B. Clear? And that is your cosine sum and difference identities. So now, paano naman yung sine? Paano yung sine? Paano yan? Paano naging sine sin cos cos sin? E di kunin po dito sa mother chip. Di ba dyan? Kunin mo yun doon. Okay na yun. Di ko na yun pupuntahan. Pero I think gusto ko. Kasi sabi ko nga, di ako sure lo. Ayan mo. Alam ko ba, right? Umpisaan ko muna sa tangent. A plus B. I know the tangent is sine A plus B over what? Cosine ng A plus B. Yan si Jules. Mamaya mo na ako chat, Jules. Ha? Mano, ano ka na? Focus ka muna. Ha? Mamaya. Sige ko sa'yo yung ano, mga sinabi ni Kriza. Screenshot, Jules. Mo. O yan, o game. So, yung sine A plus B, kuha na natin. Hindi ko na de-derive doon. Sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Tapos yung ilalim, eh, ano yung kakaderive lang natin? Uh, cos A cos B plus minus sine A sine B. Guys, ang palatandaan ko dito sa tangent, sigurado ko 1 to. Ngayon tayo sa tan 1 yan. Yung part na yun, 1, right? In the first term of the denominator, I'm not sure yung sign dito, kaya nga bin lang ko muna. But I'm sure na 1 to. So, pulong mo na yun. Paano kaya magiging 1 to? E di divide natin siya by cos A, cos B. And, syempre, if you do it to that term, you should do it to the other terms as well. Yan, divide mo lang sa lahat ng parehas na yun, para you're not changing it. So, yeah. Identities, right? The link. Okay. Ako nga, tama ka, Yodge. Opposite. Pero I'm not sure whether uh, kung may basta ganun. Kaya, ito yung lagi kong ginagawa. Now, uh, and, syempre, hope na kapag teacher nyo, you're allowed to use a formula card. Ay. You know me, guys. Wala sa akin yung mga formula, formula na yan. Sabi ko, mag-open na kayo ng mga libro. Kahit pwede kayo mag-open na kahit ano, di ba? Open encyclopedia. The important thing is you know how to use the formula and how those are derived. Ang maganda sa mga derivation. Looks, looks hard, looks long, looks tedious. But the beauty of that is that lahat, lahat sila galing sa basics. The definition. Now, cos, 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 1. You see that? It's a minus. Sine A over cosine A. What's this? Sine A, cosine A. Tangent A. Tan A. Tangent ng B. Tan B. Of course, this cancels out. So, magiging. Tangent A. Tan A. And then. Tan B. Plus. Tan B. Plus Tan B. Now, I'm sure, I'm now sure na plus minus, ito ay minus plus. So plus minus. So, kung minus, plus. Saan naman galing yun? Sa so add and even identities again, guys. Because of these identities na meron tayo. Saan so sinulat ko yan? Yan. Tan, negative x, negative tan x. Kaya mag-switch lang na signs. Tawa ba guys? Ah, uh, now. Ito yung uh, tawag doon. The double angle. 
Lahat ng, ang, ng double angular identities galing lang sa sum. Came from the sum identities. Like sine 2a. What is sine 2a? Sa nakakabisado, sige nga, please. What is sine 2a? Cosine <laughs> Cosine. 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 we have cosine to A. What is cosine to A? Uh, 2 cosine squared minus 1. Actually, tatlo yan. Sir, tas may 1 minus 2 sine squared. To be honest, guys, to be honest, tatlo yan. Ang lagi ko lang kinakabisado ito lang. Ito, I'm not sure. Pinidirect ko pa. Kasi limited lang yung space ko eh. I don't even remember my passwords. Sa youth, sa Twitter. Nakalit pa lang. Pati yung cellphone number ko. Ang kapisado. Ang kapisado ko, cellphone number na lang. Pero yung Ano? Yung dalawang to Galing Hindi galing sa mother Yan, galing sa mother chief Okay? Ano? Kasi You can always replace one in terms of the other Like Yung cos squared A, pwede mong palitan ng 1 minus sine squared A. So if you do this, if you want to replace cos squared A with 1 minus sine squared A, here, yung cos squared A na to, 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 palitan natin ng 1 minus sine squared. So magiging yun siya, 1 minus sine squared A, tapos minus, Sine squared A, kaya magiging 1 minus 2 sine squared A. Nakita yun, guys? Okay ba? Oye, si Diyos, nakita ko buhok mo. Guys, question, okay? Gets? Gets. How about, para maging 2 cos squared A, eh di, palitan mo naman si sine squared A. Gawin mo naman siyang 1 minus cos squared A. So here, palitan mo si sine squared A ng 1 minus cos squared A. So it will become cos squared A minus, yung sine squared A palitan mo nun, 1 minus cos squared A. E di magiging distribute, minus negative, magiging plus, minus 1. See that? Oh, yan. I did that done. Then, tangent double angle. What's that double angle for tangent? 2 tangent A over 1 minus tan squared A. May mga kabisado ako, may mga hindi ako kabisado. Pero again, galing yan lahat, lahat lang lahat sa fundamental identities. So wala akong papasagot sa inyo guys ngayon. Kasi medyo nag-enjoy ako because my voice is getting back. Kaya magdadaldal lang ako. So just stay back put back and uh, just listen. Oh, now, pero yung mga identities na yan, saan na naman galing? E di sa previous, ano ba yung came, yung previous natin? Came from the sum identities. Ulitin ko na lang. So, double angles. Parang, yun ang una natin, sum. O, una, sign. 2A. Obviously, you can express it as A plus A. Diba? And you know that A plus B yan. Ang identity natin, sin A plus B. Ang sabi, sin A cos B cos A sin B. So, gawin mo lang dito, edi sin A cos B, A A din. Edi A yun. Cos A sin B, A A din yung pangalawa. It is sine A. Oh, now, what is sine A cos A plus cos A sine A? Diba they are the same? They are the same, right? 
So meaning the double angle for sine is actually 2 sine A cosine A. Those things, guys. Ganun ka simple. Ah, now. Yes, Juice? Ah, hala si Juice. How about the tangent? Diretso na ako sa tangent. Tangent is 2A is A plus A. Di ba, meron tayong identity no? Mahal po dito, Bob. May identity tayo ng A plus B. And ang identity natin ito ay tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan B. Just follow that identity. It so happened na yung pangalawa, yung B dapat, A rin. And it's tan A plus tan B. So happened na A din, so tan A over 1 minus tan A tan B. A A din, so tan A. So what's that? We're for tangent of 2A is tan A plus tan A to tan A. Tan A times tan A squared. Tan squared. Follow guys? Right? Ah, no. Let's have the last set of identities para next meeting sa part 1 ng ating general identities. Part 1, where's my header? Yan, general identities part 1. Puro na lang tayo problem solving. Ito na yung mga half angle. Sige guys, walang dayaan. Walang Google. Sino nakakalala ng mga half angle? Let's say sine A over 2 or theta over 2. Cosine A over 2 or theta over 2. Tan A over 2 or theta over 2. Hindi ko abisado yan talaga, promise. As in, I'll get a book, look up the formula at the back. Yung mga may books kasi na nakasummarize yung formulas. Or Google it, the formulas. Walang Googlean. Sige nga. Ayan, si Rain to malamang. O, di ba? Yabang talaga. Yabang talaga ni Rain. Ah, hindi. Private naman mo. Pero very good ring. Sabi ko nga, ako rin, hindi ko abisado. Sama ako, sama ako daw. Bite-bite ko eh. Di ba nagawin nung bite-bite ko? Sige, Bly. Bly. Pag-Google. Pag-Google. Tapos, ah... Google ko? Yup, yup. Okay. Hindi ko abisado yan. Yung for sine muna, sir. Yeah, sine. Sine 1 minus cos 2 Ano ba gamit natin? Cos 2A over 2. Ano 2A? Ay, bobo. Bobo. Positive. Bobo do. Ano? Positive negative square root of 1 minus cos A over 2. Plus minus, no? Apo, sir. Square root of? Kasama ba yung ilalim sa square root? Kasama, sir. Okay. 1 minus cos A, cos A over 2. How about cosine? Plus minus square root of 1 plus cos plus A. Mano. Over 2. Kasama pa rin, sir. Yan yung lagi ko nagbabaliktad. Kapag I try to just memorize or recall the formula. Kaya ending, lagi ako nagde-derive. It's quick naman to derive. Like, kaya-kaya niyan. How about tangent, Bly? Plus minus square root of 1 minus cos A over 1 plus cos A. Pagkasama sila. Hindi ni Vibe mo lang eh. Nasar mo ko eh. Meron yan, Vlad. Meron yan, meron yan. Punta ka sa ibang Google. Baka Google squared. Ah, yung ano? Yung walang square root? Yep. Ano? Sin A over 1 plus cos A. Ayan, babalik pa daw. Sin A over 
1 plus cos A. At dalawa yan. Equals 1 minus cos A. O, yun, sabi. Over right, sine A. Sasabihin ko sana 1 minus sine A, right guys? So, cos A pala, 1 minus cos A. Lagi talagang... Sir, walang positive negative. Walang positive negative. Wala. Wala. Ah, nari, nari, nakikinig. Nakikinig lang ako kay Bly, di ba? Nakikinig lang ako, di ba? <laughs> Sorry naman. Oh, wait. Tiga lang. Laki ng bambura ko. Alam nyo ba guys, share lang. Yung gamit ko na to. Yung, yung ito, yung writing app ko. Natanggap ko to 2012. Maksa ito, no? issue ng mga t-government. Eh kasi, nung pagbinigay ito sa mga teacher, wala namang gumagamit. Ayaw nilang gamitin, ayaw nilang explore. Eh, eh ako, napursi ko magkaka-COVID. Eh. Kaya yun, ayun, damo, gamit na gamit. O, diba? O, no. Saan galing yung mga hayop na hapanggil na yan? Damo, yan. Doon siya sa, galing sa isa sa double angle ng cosine. Oh, look at this guys. Galing siya dito sa double angle ng cosine. Si 2 cos squared A minus 1. Ayan. Okay? So solve lang natin to. If you, if you will notice, this is double that angle. So B sa B, ama ba yung B sa B o B sa B's? That this angle is half of that. Do you agree? So let me write it. That this angle, this angle right here, is half of this. Or this is double that. So pwede ko siyang sulat na ganda. Kita ba yun guys? So I'll solve for this. Lipat. And divide. Now you see kung bakit may plus minus. Why? Because that's cos squared. And we will be getting the square root of both sides. And you know, dapat may plus minus pag nag square root. See that? How about the other one? Galing din siya sa cosine pa rin. Pero yung isa naman, siya naman si 1 minus 2 sine squared A. Ayan ha. Saan ba yun? Ito, di ba? Ay, hindi yan. Tama yan. Saan siya? Yan, yung tatlo, no? Ito yung unang ginamit. Tapos ito. Let's go to that. Now, we will be solving. Again, this is this angle is double that one. It follows that this is half of that. So we can rewrite everything in, in terms of yung may half. Mapakita natin yung kalahate. Follow that, guys. Now, I'm solving for this. Lipat ko to doon. Positive na siya. Now, lipat ko si cosine. Si 1 nandiyan, ha? Divide by 2 again. And of course, that's still being squared. So I'll get the square root. So dapat merong plus and minus. So but this time, minus. See that, guys? Nakita yun? See, ganun lang siya. So all those identities, part 1, nagsimula tayo dun sa medyo... May hirap-hirap, pero concept lang naman. And then, nung nakuha na yung isa, madali nang naipanganak yung ibang identity. Half, hanggang half angle. So, last natin yung tangent. Paano naging ganyan si tangent? Which is this one, sa baba. No? Ayun na lang yung copyin ko. Yan. Last slide. Yan. So, paano naging ganyan yung tangent? So, nakuha na natin yung sine and cosine. So, just use the identities. 
the tangent is sine over cosine. Parang ganito. Yeah, ano, dayahin ko na. Tangent is sine over cosine. O yan, no? Ang mabaya, no? Sine over cosine. At of course, equal yan sa ito over ito. Right? And makawala na yung plus minus kasi kung plus plus, ganun. Kaya yun, wala, i, hindi na magmamatter. And then, guys, this is now under 1 square root over square root. You can put everything under 1 square root. Or pwedeng 1 minus cos A over 2 times the reciprocal 2 over 1 plus cos A. Susundan, ansel, ansel. Square root, 1 minus cos A over 1 plus cos A. Susundan, now I will rationalize inside the square root. Ang gagawin ko, I will multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the, den the denominator of the original one. Ayan, no? So, yung ilalim, kinopya ko, tinimes ko sa taas at sa baba. I'm multiplying it by 1, guys, right? Uh, now, tell me what will happen to the numerator. 1 minus cosine squared. Sino si Diyos ba yun? Tapos sa baba, no? 1 plus, quantity 1 plus cosine A to be squared. Yan. And of course, pag kinuha ang square root niyan, Ano ba square root ng quantity squared? 1 plus cosine A. Now, mother chip, identity. What is 1 minus cos squared A? Sine A. Ano sine A? Ha? Huh? Sine squared A. Sine squared. Di na tanong ko yung lube. Square root pala eh. Huwag mag, 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 ano, just be, kailan step by step. O, oh, ayan o. Oh. Mare-red flag ka na ng mga kikrisa niya. 1 minus cos squared, ano ulit ang 1 minus cos squared? Ano ulit ito? Sine squared, squared A. Squared A. Sine squared A. And what is the square root of sine squared A? Sine A. Sine A. Sine A. You get this. Sine A. Right? O paano naman nakuha yung isa? Ang pinang times, hindi naman, hindi ito, but yung minus naman. Why minus naman? So, kung minus naman, quantity, 1 minus cos A squared, square root nun na yun. Yung ilalim naman na magiging sine squared ang square root sine A. Are we clear, guys? Wala kayong ginawang practice ngayon. I just introduced the background of general identities part... Mike. General identities part 1. This is worth a week's lesson, guys. Introduce yung lahat ng yan. Ordinary lesson, you know me. Some identities muna tayo. Puro sum muna. Sum. Exercises, exercises. Puro sum lang muna. Tapos double. Two, two days. Tapos half. Two days. Diba ganun? Ako, lahat sama-sama muna bago mag-exercises. Is that okay with you guys? Okay lang, sir. Ayun, okay na okay, Diyos. Okay lang, sir. Okay, good. But nagtatayin mo, no, ballpin ko. Nagtatayin ballpin ko. So, yun, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for waiting for me. Medyo matagalan ako bago mag-start. 9.15 na yata ako nag-start. So, yun, thank you, guys. And this is our session number 5. Hello. Uh -huh. Fifth session na tayo. Hello. See you next meeting, guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank Love you. Sir. Thank you, sir.